Hello everyone and welcome to Learn a Trade. I am Kevin Tate and today I'm going to be working on a um, Lancer FS30 unit that has a bad touch touch pad. This one right here. Um, they say that when they press the buttons that nothing happens. So that's an indication of a uh, a bad or uh, damaged uh, touchpad. So I'm going to be removing the display that you see up top there, and then I'll be opening up the the lower section, this lower section right here of the the touchpad section. I'll be lowering that, and then uh, we'll change out the touchpad. Okay, so now I have removed the merchandiser that was up top, and that get, gives you access to get into this touchpad area, which go, lifts up and down, um, and it has these points right here, that these latches that latch into this uh, hole right there on each side, and that locks, locks in that... Um, this touchpad this uh, display assembly so I have that open now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these screws that are holding it in right here four screws that hold it in I'm gonna remove the wires that are going to the control board going to remove these terminals, both of these, and then um, change out the touchpad and then uh, give it a test. Okay, right now I have the two terminals removed, and now I'm going to remove the four screws that are holding in that touchpad. And uh, just to remind you, this unit has a power switch right up top here the switch presses in and then it powers up the unit and usually when I'm taking off that merchandiser that merchandiser connects right here and you wanna shut it off and then disconnect the merchandiser and then remove the merchandiser and then I just leave it off until I finish uh, the full repair okay I have the touchpad removed the next thing that I do is I go ahead and transfer these labels each label I transfer it over to the new touchpad okay so the, the new touchpad comes in blank so I'm just going to go ahead and transfer those labels over to the new touchpad and then and then go ahead and remount it. The other thing just to show you this is I noticed that the ice chute is uh got some some build up on it, some algae build up on it. Um so I'm going to go ahead and remove that also and then um uh, let that soak in some uh, cleaner and sanitizer. Uh, the way you remove these is lift this spring and then pull out that spring and set that aside. And then these clips back here, usually you can use a, a slotted screwdriver just to pop, the, pop, each, pop each side off like that. And then it'll lift up and come right out. Okay, so I'm gonna just, just go ahead and let that soak, and um, and then uh, we'll and then I'll clean up this top section of the ice chute with some uh, cleaner and sanitizer, and then should be able to put it all back together. Okay, right now I have the new touchpad in place. 
I'm going to go ahead and clean up the ice shoe area and then uh, we'll be ready to reassemble those pieces and um, start this back up. Okay, I have the ice shoe back in place, all cleaned up. You usually want to, uh, you know, take care of that stuff if you see it, like while you're on a, on a call. It's better to just go ahead and knock it out while you're on site, because that way, if you have to come back for a service call or to do uh, PM maintenance or something like that, then you can uh, you can get that taken care of beforehand. Needless to say, it's also going to help them pass their uh, health department inspections too. So as you see that spring, pop this lower assembly back in place, snaps right in, and then latch your spring right on there. And as you can see, this is how it functions when it's pushed back. That micro switch releases and then um, it opens up the ice chute door, which dispenses the ice. Then when they, when they release, then it closes that door. So right now I'm going to get this set up uh, back up so that I can start it up and make sure that it's dispensing. All right, so as you can see, got everything back in place. Ice is working. This is the valve that was bad. You can see each of those are working now, so we should be all set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this call out. And then, yeah, that's all set now. I'm going to go ahead and close this out, and um, thank you all for watching. I hope this was useful to you, and um, we'll see you on the next job. Thank you. Stay well and be blessed.